Morocco became the first side outside the host nation to arrive in Cote d'Ivoire for the 34th edition of the Total Energy's CAF African Cup of Nations when the Atlas Lions landed in Abidjan on Sunday. The FIFA World Cup semi-finalists landed at Felix Ofed Bogny Airport in the afternoon amid local traditional drumming and dancing to welcome the side to the host country of the Continental Showpiece event. The plane carrying coach Wally Ray Gregory's side landed in Abidjan at 2 p.m. local time before they were received in Terminal 2 with an impressive cultural ceremony arranged by the local organizing committee of the Total Energies CAF Afghan amid tight security. Atlas Lion striker Yusuf N. Nursery was the first to appear from the aircraft, followed by the PSG star Akraf Hakimi, as the delegation was met on arrival by the Ivorian Minister of Transport, Amada Kohn. Mr. Kohn, who personally supervised the arrival of this first team for the tournament, was accompanied by the ambassador of the Kingdom of Morocco to Cote d'Ivoire, His Excellency Abdel Malek Katani, some CAF officials, and some members of the LOC. Members of the Moroccan community in Abidjan were also present at the airport to welcome their team that reached the last four of the 2024 World Cup in Qatar. The Atlas Lions, who appeared focused, headed straight to the city of San Pedro where they will be based for their Group F matches against the Aero Congo, Tanzania and Zambia. They will have 10 days of acclimatization in the coastal city of San Pedro before their first match on January 17, 2024 against Tanzania at the Laurent Poku Stadium. Their second outing is scheduled against the Aero Congo on January 21st, followed by their last game against Zambia on January 24th. As a semi-finalist in the last edition of the World Cup in Qatar, Morocco is seen as one of the favorites for the CAF Total Energies African Cup of Nations, Cote d'Ivoire 2023. Their only title success in the competition dates back to 1976. 48 years later, the Atlas Lions are dreaming of taking the trophy home. Meanwhile, host nation Cote d'Ivoire arrived in Abidjan on Sunday morning to continue their preparations for the tournament after beating Sierra Leone 5-1 in a warm-up in the city of San Pedro on Saturday. Basketball NBA Roundup LeBron James leads Los Angeles Lakers to win over Los Angeles Clippers. LeBron James top scored with 25 points as the Los Angeles Lakers beat city rivals the Los Angeles Clippers 106-103. Anthony Davis added 22 points as the Lakers ended a four-game losing streak. Paul George and Ivica Zubak scored 22 points for the Clippers who suffered their first defeat in six matches. If we could continue to get better with our details, we could be a really good team said James. Tonight was a good step in the right direction. Elsewhere, Kerry Ivan scored 35 points and Luka Doncic added 34 as the Dallas Mavericks beat Western Conference leaders the Minnesota Timberwolves 115-108. The Timberwolves looked on course for the win when an Anthony Edwards basket put them 106-100 ahead with less than four minutes remaining. But the Mavericks hit back with 13 unanswered points, including two three-pointers from Ivan to edge into a lead, which they never relinquished. I was just letting him cook, Donchi said of Ivan. When he stays aggressive, he's an amazing player. RJ Barrett scored a season-high 37 points as the Toronto Raptors beat the Golden State Warriors 133-118. Stephen Curry scored just 9 points for the Warriors, making only 2 of his 14 shorts from the field and missing all 9 of his 3-point attempts. Draymond Green took part in the Warriors' pre-game walkthrough as he prepares to return to action following the lifting of his 12-game suspension for striking an opponent. CJ McCollum top scored with 30 points as the New Orleans Pelicans is to a 133-100 win over the Sacramento Kings with seven Pelicans players scoring double figures. Victor Wembayama scored 24 points in less than 25 minutes on court but could not prevent the San Antonio Spurs from losing 117-115 to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Jared Allen scored 29 points and Caris Levert added 23 off the bench for the Cavaliers as the Spurs suffered a fifth straight defeat. The Detroit Pistons have now lost 32 of their last 33 games, including their last 18 on the road. After they were beaten 133-114 for the Denver Nuggets, Michael Bridges scored 42 points for the Brooklyn Nets but could not prevent a 137-124 overtime defeat by the Portland Trail Blazers. The Orlando Magic also needed overtime to beat the Atlanta Hawks. 117-110 in Florida, while the Memphis Grizzlies beat the Phoenix Suns 121-115. Golf The Century 2024 Chris Kirk secures 
first PGA Tour win of season. Chris Kirk secured the first win of the 2024 PGA Tour season with victory at the Century in Maui, Hawaii. The 38 year old American birded the 15th and 17th holes to finish the final round 8 under par on Sunday. Kirk led going into the final round and hit six birdies in his first 11 holes before fending off a late surge from compatriot Sahith Gala on the back nine. The win is the sixth of his career and first since the 2023 Honda Classic. Prior to that victory last February, he had not won on the PGA Tour for eight years, having taken a leave of absence in 2019 to address mental health and addiction issues. It's 100% the reason why I'm able to do what I do, Kirk said after the win. I've said that a lot, but my PGA Tour career would have been over a while ago had I not gotten sober. In Hawaii, Kirk made just one bogey all week to claim $3.6 million of the $20 million pours at the plantation course in Kapulua. Tied with Tigala for the lead at the 17th on Sunday, Kirk produced a stunning shot to set up a birdie going on to finish the week 29 on the 263. I'm very proud, very, very proud of that shot that I was able to make the right call. Talk about the tough shots to commit to, said Kirk, who is ranked 52 in the world. Jordan spied hit an 8 under 65 on Sunday to finish third at 27, while South Korea's Ai Byung-Han finished fourth. Gabelson reporting from Dunted, ABC Amber News.